Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nick. I'm joined by Isaac, and we are playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, and I'm playing. Nick everybody. is playing. This is true. My I'm hands. Playing. I'm going to keep my hands up here the entire time to prove that Nick is playing. I'm going to stream. I'm going to do it like this, Nick. I'm going to watch. Yeah, with your hands up. Position. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, nice. Yeah, apologies. Uh, we're we're, we're going to see how this works. Nick is currently streaming his screen to me, and then I'm streaming my screen to uh, to you people at home. So, yeah, um, this yeah. is going to be a fun little uh, interesting situation. For those who don't know, this is a somewhat old game that they kind of revamped last year. So it came out in like I want to say like 2012, 2013. It came out a long, long did, time ago. Yeah, it came out a very long time ago. Did you play it at the time, Nick, or did you just see some people play it? I just saw some people play it. This was my my like subscribe to loads of let's players periods right yeah right so, like it all everyone released their videos at once and it all came out and uh That's here we are thing. many years yeah later. so i mean you and i we were both we were both we lance you know like 10 years we ago were, we, we, were we were babies were. basically and so we didn't uh we didn't uh i, I wasn't old enough isaac my mummy wouldn't let me <laughs> wouldn't let me buy it <laughs> and now nick we're passing on the torch right we're here so that the, the people who are babies currently can watch can watch this, right? Exactly, no offense, exactly. Not, not calling you a child if you're watching this, but, you know. <laughs> so this but, but is basically a, it's a redone <laughs> version. And, uh, and yeah, Nick, we're kind of going blind. We've had a little bit of a of a, an interesting start to the we game. We have, yeah. Because so, <laughs> we've been trying to fix audio issues, right? <laughs> we have, we have. And uh, so it's, it's led to me having to open the game up three times, right? And then quit and then open it. <laughs> And every time it asks for the time, and each time we've been like, what? oh, it's asked for the time again, it didn't remember. But then when we put in the correct time, it like congratulates us and thanks us for our service of actually inputting the correct time. Yeah, um, you, put the, you put the time in, you were like 12.09, and then you restarted the game and it asked you again, what's the time? And you put 12.09, and the game was like, sincerely, thank you. Most people just ignore that. They think it doesn't matter when they put a random time in. They're not consistent with their timing. So thank you for, we know you're taking this game seriously. It's like significant, like, story path changed, <laughs> right? <laughs> the game's on our side now. And then you restarted it a third time, and it came up with... That time, it did remember the time, and it was like, how accurate is this time? And there was just a yeah, slider yeah. from inaccurate to accurate. So that's the kind of game we're playing, if you're unfamiliar with the Stanley Parable. And, like, Nick, without further ado, I'm, I'm ready, man. Let's begin the game. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. That's a bit ominous. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, I know, telling right. him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day <laughs> I wish every my job was this easy, man. Every year. The, the time was given to him in milliseconds, though, man. I couldn't hold the key down for 61 milliseconds. Uh, considering how slow he's moving his finger as well. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Oh, that's good. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, no. call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh my lord, this is, Stanley. Uh, this is How pre-COVID, man, for? but maybe that's, what's, maybe that's what's happened. Yeah, maybe that's what happened, right? First thing I'm doing is turning down the mouse sensitivity, because oh my lord, that was... Uh, <laughs> Very sensitive indeed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so here look, we are, Isaac. It's um it's a pretty grey little cubicle, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, um, I'm not lovely. Gonna lie. This is lovely artwork though on the walls yeah, there. Look at just... fairly cozy lighting as well, right? Yeah, look at that. You're <laughs> not Stanley's home. Just a there. just a, a desk lamp for that's the only light in here. That's the only that thing. True, There's no right? ceiling lights. Ambiance, that are on. <laughs> Isaac, ambiance. 
There's nothing in these filing cabinets. There's no. Uh, I'm going to turn down this mouse, this camera sensitivity even more. Go on, uh, right down to, to zero. Yeah, there oh, you go. Oh, that's better. That's better. <laughs> um, what do, what does this say here? Can I can I crouch? I hate, I hate Mondays. Mondays. Oh no, we're part of the partition corp. Uh, okay. Unless the partition corp is just the one who's made this partition. Oh, that yeah, says that's probably that makes more sense. Yeah, probably. Right. There's no E or F to interact yet. Okay. Uh, the computer's dead. So this chair, Nick, that chair is not ergonomic, man. That is sitting in that thing for hours on end. Like, oh. There's no armrests either. No, exactly, it's rough, right? It's pretty rough, isn't it? Oh, it is pretty rough. Oh, Gosh. my Lord. Stanley. I'm going to get... Stanley, you like, must have like a freaking man. hernia, man. Something like that. <laughs> Look at all these employee 429... So what's the uh, the Can't interact you hear is it is it f it's e oh i see you hear that i hear that yes i hear like you punching uh, all the door of his co-workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo yeah that could be him right, what do you reckon we've got here we've got Are the clocks i assume the clock's not set to our time despite the fact that it asked Yo, it is! Yo. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's close. Oh, it's, it's close. close. But that it might is. have been the time you set when we got in. We set like yes, I, 12 was. 22. I think it was. I set 12 22. Yeah, it's been like 17 minutes since then. Very interesting. No matter how hard, hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Give this old phone, uh, man. Looks we great. farted. Yeah, right. Guys? I love how everyone's got a, a big old pencil sharpener, man. That's. I know, right? But I, I used to love a, these things. <laughs> I don't see a single pencil, though. Is the yeah, thing. I know, right? This is supposed to be an automatic one. So I just turned someone's computer off. That's good. Power saving. Okay. Yeah, of course. You know, if there's no one here to use it. Yeah, yeah, right. Obviously. Checks out. Okay. Mm hmm. No, no one here. Should I turn this person's computer yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, shut well? it down, man. You know, be you... good to the environment, man. We exactly. Be good to the environment. Exactly. Anyone else Seven with their computers powered on? No, everyone else has been good. Can't all get the, in here. All the doors are locked, though, man, which is odd. I know. It's a bit weird, right? There happens to just be this specific one way <laughs> one way in. Oh. Oh, hello. Someone's uh, been taking roof up to a skip. Off. Yeah. Oh, everyone... no. Someone's <laughs> dropped their coffee, Isaac. Everyone hates Mondays, man. There's so many. I, hate I know. Mondays. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I mean, I'm with them, man. Look at this lovely chat, uh, oh. chat GPT, Dali generated <laughs> image, man. Looking behind the door, nothing behind the door. But quite nice lights fixtures. Yeah, you know? they're very, they're they're very nicely considered. diffused like glass, as well. You know? yeah, yeah, like a glass to, glass layer there. Oh, oh. hello. Oh, that, oh. that back it's alleyway there looks a little isn't it? Yeah, a bit, a bit ominous down there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a meeting, meeting Can minutes we, and notes that, that When Stanley came to a set of oh. two open doors, he entered Trapped. the door on his left. Oh, so this is the first, the first, are we able to make our own choices in life See, or is everything predetermined, Isaac? Nick, the game was so nice to us when we did what it asked last time, you know, we it asked us to set the time and then when we did it was like, who's a good boy? You set the time yeah, right. Yeah, you're a good little and boy. I, you're a good little I, boy. I, I, I love that feeling, man, you know? And Do you so, want to adhere to the overlords, Isaac? We're going I think left. so. It's so tempting to, to be the, the, the outsider, but I quite like it, man, you know, just, just, just obeying. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Well, that person's so left their computer geez. on and the door is locked. Nothing oh. you can do about that one, man. The environment, people. Come on, guys. I'm going to try every door in the game, by the way, guys. <laughs> like, what if the <laughs> waiting for the one that's open? God, it's very bright outside. It's extremely and bright. Eyes are not adjusting I think properly. Um, nuclear wasteland out there, man. That's what's happening. Honestly, yeah. It's just the mushroom cloud is eternally... Uh, Yet there was not a single person <laughs> here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, what what kind of company are we uh, are we running here? It's just a meeting schedule. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. I can't R. interact. R.I.P. What's this in the top there? Top right. R.I.P. Uh, it says R.I.P. Franz? Franz. Oh, Franz. Franz. There's a, Franz. A, at the top there. Is that a cabal meeting that's been or cabal planning that's been crossed out? A group has been put in place of Cabal at the top. The little next to the smiley oh, face. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, look at that. Cabal's yeah. been changed to group. Yeah, group, group planning. smiley face. Yeah. Huh. Oh, no. Interesting. Legal, what finance, picnic that? meeting. We're 427, aren't we? So there's no... Uh, <laughs> Where no, Brooke no West is. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the on the on the Wednesday yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that We're Broke Wednesdays. Termination oh. Tuesdays, Marketing Mondays. Every Wednesday is We're Broke Wednesdays, man. <laughs> and then still got no money Saturdays. What's, um, oh, look at those <laughs> default 
Excel graphs, man. Yeah, right. Look at that. Oh, that things is, are not going. Beautiful. Things are not going well, man. Those graphs are going down. What's this? Going down, well down there. What, what, what does it say at the top of that that bar chart on the right there? What's it say? It says it says the synergizing of core global something value paradigms in 2012 <laughs> to 2013. <laughs> the, the, the global paradigms have not been synergizing, man, at all. No, not at all. They've been they've been By bringing, quarterly, like, devolving. Post review review. <laughs> nice. We need reviews. 402 plus 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review. Honestly, this is this is a consulting Accurate. job at its <laughs> finest, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Size of demographic teenagers and then space between the teenagers. <laughs> nice, nice. Throw something in the ideas bin. No more bins. That. No more bins. Right. Everyone is so, unique. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things, grants. Yeah, man. Grants I'm with about you. things and money. <laughs> <laughs> look, this is, oh, look the, this is the... That's good. Someone gets paid 80 grand a year, probably, as a quote-unquote <laughs> analyst to create these, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, I checked out. Oh, Rate at which the charts... Oh, on the same slide. information. Rate thing. of increase in graphs per slide. Please, oh, no more charts. Please, Jeez. stop. Oh. Circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Oh my goodness. Synergize. Core value expenditures. Shift the global market paradigms. Monetize free to play. Yes. Oh there. yes. Yes. That will that will reverse the synergies. That will make it synergize again. Oh. <gasps> Yo, it opened. It's the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned oh, around and got back on track. So, I mean, like, oh, how right. do we want to do this, man? Another... Do we want to obey all the way? Or do we want to, like... There like, was I nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason right. to what's still hiding? be here. Right. What's hiding here, Isaac? I'm interacting. I'm furiously interacting. The, 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 the mop bucket, maybe, behind on your right? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Yeah, that looks like a He wasn't thing. even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, Close the door, he's maybe? literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick up the on broom? The, on, the, on the left, from on the way in, there's a looks like a wire that goes Are into you, the wall behind that really concrete in the broom closet? Standing around oh, doing there's something nothing? behind there, right? Why? Ooh. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. We're just trying to we're just taking our time. We're just, we're just you know, Jeez. we're enjoying. Why is no one here? Right, can I crouch? Is there anything down you here? You just realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past <laughs> the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. Unless he's telling the truth. So I mean, he could uh, be, man. Never designed would have to, to, to make us spend so I, much I do, time here. Oh, no. Oh, up above. Oh, oh there's just a pipe. Um, I, I, do, I can't jump. Maybe to oh. me that this is somehow this... its own branching part. I, I do love the maybe amount of when you go talk about the voice of a word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. and, uh... Did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Okay, I think I think we've exhausted the, um, the broom closet. <laughs> the Isaac. XD at the end. Of that <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon if I like close it and open it again? It's going to be different. I reckon he's going to comment on that. Narrator! I love Narrator. that. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> wow. He probably only got the, the job because Narrator. of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. I think we should that say the room I think they actually might also, be a Also, Stanley is addicted now. to drugs and hookers. So, yeah, I mean, I would be too if I was <sighs> pressing keys for 63 well, milliseconds. Well, I've come to a very exactly definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You that makes sense. broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> well, in a situation a like egg. this, a the responsible egg. thing a is to egg. alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it be... I'm just going to quickly check the controls, right? If there's any... So interact with E... It does say jump in space, but I guess it's not... Not something I've got yet. So yeah, it looks like I can click... Interact additional. Pose. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. 
they had fallen prey to any number nah. of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. I think we should species. stay in them, Please we'll remove stay. their we'll corpse stay. from the area <laughs> and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person <laughs> video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the We've irony uh, and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. So we've right. completely well, um, that, just thrown out. Our, the let's be adhering, adhere to the to the instructions. We've completely thrown it out the window. We've completely thrown it out the window. At least for the for the broom section. I mean, that could be the end of this little um, broom ending section, potentially. I've I've interacted with everything there is to interact with. Right. And I seem to be... <laughs> I seem to be... No nada. Okay. All Narrator? Right. All right. Narrator? <laughs> Gonna get excited now, Narrator? <laughs> the broom closet ending is my favorite. Um... Okay, I think I think we might have to move on. Ah, now. second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Aww. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Right. What are we thinking? Oh, we yeah, can't, I can't go back. open this now. Can't go back, chat. Sorry. Right. Up uh, or I down, mean, at this I point, think. we might as well continue our. Well, let's continue our, 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 our obedience arc. Oh, uh, we're being obedient. Okay. Okay, it's not on this floor. It must be on this floor. Ooh, this, this very, is... uh, very, very, very opulent looking floor. Yeah, it's much nicer, right? Executive, executive bathroom. bathroom. Yes, please. Oh, oh my this goodness. is executive. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. Oh, my executive lord. Executive these... bathrooms. <laughs> Can't interact with the toilet, unfortunately. That's unfortunate, man. It's most unfortunate. That so lovely, it's, it's uh, very big. That, that, it's massive, that, isn't it? That, wind, that mirror is not very executive, though. It looks a little... Um... No! I mean, it's not It's not being a mirror, No, first of right. All. Someone's, like, smashed it in or something. Yeah, I'd... Uh... It looks a bit cold in there, though, man. I'd be like, my feet would be cold. Okay. Has this person left their computer on? Can we turn it on? No, we can't. No information. That light's also not no doing a good job there. It isn't, is it? Okay. Let's have a look. All right. Anything through, uh, through here? No. no. Okay. Right, let's, let's go into the boss's office. office. Right. Stepping yeah, into his manager's office, office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. The size Shocked, of this office, man. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief Just who orchestrated this. Right. What dark secret was being held from him? What he Put could not have known in the was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. No, that's But of useful. course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. No, how would Stanley know that, Isaac? I'm seeing. But also, can we can books. we can we have a go at the narrator for saying pin number when it's just pin? Uh, Personal yeah, identification number yeah. number. Like, what are you doing, guy? Yeah. Uh, we, we, two eight four five. Was that the number? Two eight four five. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, Stanley oh, happened oh to input Lord. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. He got the uh, the the nine P four calculation guessed correctly, right? Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're right. in the ominous bit now, Isaac. Oh, Look gosh. at this. What? See again? Just leaving these lights on, man. It's just unnecessary. The, the, the... I know the, the, the electricity bill. All right. I hope they've not left the heating on too. But I would say that this place probably feels absolutely Baltic cold. Yeah. I mean, man, those those bulbs they look like halogen bulbs, man. Those things no, are gonna be no, costing those, a bloody fortune. Uh, yeah, honestly. God, it is very dark, isn't it? It's very dark. Glad, glad you uh, you guys can see okay-ish. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, I think we set the brightness you go in high the... enough. Um, in the can, dark. Like, behind you, can you interact with that elevator at all? Like that button, that can. red down button? Is that. Oh, I think, do we, oh I think, but do we. Do we do it? Is the I, question. I'm interested. Yeah, let's go around the corner first because there might be something let's around Let's see there. what's around here. Absolutely bloody. Oh, sweet F air, as the narrator yeah. would say. Yeah, that's very dark, but there was nothing there. Okay. That's very, that is very dark indeed. Right. Right. Down or up, Isaac? Um, oh, the down is pressed. Can you press up? 
Oh. Oh, no. I think I can only press down. I think I, oh. well, I clicked on okay. up, but it pushed down. Okay, here we go. We're going somewhere else, peeps. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he Aww. felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? So this question would not go so unanswered for long. Just an unnecessary number of pipes. Oh my lord. Right, well that elevator is we, probably out of action. Can we go back up? I think we we can. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, Why, that's a reckon? great question. I just can't wait to find out. I want to know how how much the narrator had to narrate for like edge cases. <laughs> right. Anything? If you, if you like walk back into the office, does it trigger a? Here we are, Stanley. <laughs> it's your boss's <laughs> office, exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. Two eight four five. What a decision again. you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has oh, fleshed out the wrong. plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. Oh. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. Maybe like one, two, three, four. I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> All zeros? <laughs> okay. Wait, one more. Do I two more? Two more. <laughs> nah, we got nothing. We got nothing, lads. Ooh, I okay. wonder if we do that before like anything um gets going before we put in the it. correct one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen. How does he keep coming up with all of this? He's just learning critical thinking, narrator. You know, I, he's, like, he's learning to think for himself. It's such a waste, but I really want to get Surely back in this the time, Stanley will walk forward into the <laughs> spooky corridor. You want to go back? Yeah. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. Nope. Uh, it's time once again to go back <laughs> up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> what if it isn't? What if it isn't? I feel like it, can, it might not be at some point. Who knows? And then just walk into the boss's office. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. It's the <laughs> boss's office. <laughs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Oh. Oh. Please hold. It's a nice bit of music, though. This is not it. This guy's getting his fix. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No. No, wait. No. I need more time <laughs> to process. Okay, off, off your off you trot narrator. Nice. I'm gonna take a some of my coffee, Nick, while we wait. Please hold. Oh, very good. I'll have my uh, my Pepsi. Oh. Got it in a mm. pumpkin pumpkin cup. Mmm. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? <laughs> I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this you kind of thing had never been attempted before. <laughs> I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air it's in so a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. The fact that there's a loading screen between this every time. I know, right? 
<sighs> I mean... <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do anything more. But, like... I feel like we have to. Come on, Narrator. What you got to say? But he might have just given up. He might have given up on us, man. <laughs> hmm. Oh. You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on. Let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize... It's oh. the anticipation, Stanley. I we get you and music. I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Yeah. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. It Why is. don't we take this elevator ride nice <laughs> and slow? Ah, oh, very good. Ooh, there we oh. go. This Isn't this so line. much more You're exciting? Sick, you know, Stanley, hands, it seems like it. nowadays the only thing that oh. audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, oh. explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very oh, moment that yes, things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters? Oh. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's That's really all because of you. Is, You're the it? one Look who took that. this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and buttons. over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it, which is Yo. why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people Hurry. like you so much, Stanley, because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up we to are. you. Which is why, right. though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference oh. for you. So that oh. you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. Yay. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know Yo, if geez. you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh! oh Yo! This is not our boss's office. This is definitely <laughs> not our boss's office. The press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. <laughs> you don't want to go down <laughs> the elevator. No, we can't. Oh, oh we no, we can't, can't even okay. go in. Okay. Oh, well, this is much nicer what than the, the scary does, corridor. I what is think. the world's healthiest human being? All tricks revealed. How we did it. The pyramids. Pyramid. Yeah. Live. The guy who the went guy to went Mars. The guy went to Mars. Nice. I still can't jump. Space Mars yeah. doesn't do anything, by the way. But we have to unlock uh, it, man, you know? The is story Is that us? That's us. The storyteller. That's us. That is us. What's wow. our last name there? Stanley? All right. Stanley. It just says Stanley reveals all in his oh, new book. I see. The storyteller. Yeah. This here, Stanley. All eyes on Stanley. Live Maybe our on name stage. is um, Stanley Storyteller, man. Yeah, or Stanley Parable. Maybe oh, our maybe, name yeah. is Parable. An evening with an evening with World Peace, baby. Hell yeah! Ah, yes. Here it is, just through this door. That was the Minecraft door sound. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Stanley Parable, Stanley tonight, live on stage. The man, the person, the myth, the legend, the person again? The Something? parable. Oh, the parable, think, Stanley. Live on stage. This is us, man. Oh, here we go. So this door doesn't open anything. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is uh, chat GPT, man. A Q&A with the world's first sentient machine. Oh. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look as nice. Great. I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about, about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't Maybe worry. It's right don't do great. Just no, no, a writer is what we want. That's from the things the we demand. I'm, I'm uh, like when a, when a, you, when a talent like, wants something to be okay. in the green room for them ahead of time. Like they're ready uh, for you. Those are things we've asked the, the venue to provide us with. I see. I see. Yeah. 
427, that's I don't, see how, I don't see how Almond's that man, so... I know, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly disappointed. Break, Break a leg, leg champ, champ, your, your boss. boss. <laughs> Let's see what else they say there. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from on the right there. Is that same picture as in the office? <laughs> on the, on the <laughs> yeah. right, bottom right corner. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it's where I thought the house was. Yeah, look at that. We've got multiple ah. from our boss that say break a leg, champ. What know, does the book right? say? Have we got, have we got, this is a different the color book. book. says... Oh, we can't. can't. So it, it says earn <laughs> At the something. top there, the, the name of the book's up again, down again. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it is. Of course Ooh. it is. Oh, we're going to do some signings, Isaac. I hope so, man. Okay, so I, I really do hope so. This is where we came from, right? Let's um, let's do the thing. The dude who came, the dude up, with came up with pizza. pizza. Wow. Oh, oh he, he is, is the national with him. treasure. Global treasure. Wow, look at Woo! this. Jeez. Hello, hello. Please hold the applause. Everybody. This is where everyone is, Isaac. Oh, this is where everyone is. That's where they're going in our office. There's got to be hundreds of thousands of people here. I still can't jump. <laughs> this is where we wake up in our office again, right? Aww. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Damn it. If only, man. If only. If oh, only. All of this good workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to this go to the meet along. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wall as well. Right, where's the broom cupboard? Isaac, where's the broom cupboard? <laughs> the room cupboard's quite a ways away. We've got to go past the graph room first. We've got to take a left here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his I'm left. one step ahead, narrator. Yeah, we've done it. Don't you worry. I think it's on the left here. Oh, no, it's past uh, this. No, no, you got it. Keep going, keep going okay. forward. Still past here. It's yeah, past yeah, we got, room, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet past there was not a single slides. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, there it is. Stanley decided to go up to his. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no, no <laughs> not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Thank nah, you. Nah, nothing. No, right, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <sighs> That's a fortune. Oh man. Okay. All right. Right, up or so, down? Well, it depends if we want to actually, like, continue on from where the elevator left off, right? Like, we could, like, yes, actually go does. down the elevator and just, like, walk forward instead of... Um, instead of going back up. Going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm easy breezy, man. I'm, I'm down for up or down here. Coming That's to the a staircase, case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, sorry. Oh, we went up last time, I guess. We went up last time, yeah. I see. Oh god, it's oh. very ominous down here, man. Very much so. Like, why is it? Oh, what's what's on the floor there? Let's have is a that... look. It's like some kind of written note. Can with... you pick it up? So, I can't. Oh, enhance? Can we enhance? Uh, we can't enhance. <laughs> it's it's too faint. This is as low as I can go. I wonder if that that's readable. Fire hose here. Yeah, if we're going to take the elevator anyway, the stairs here must be just... Yeah, be right? We, we went down. He just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss this would think he was crazy. Yeah, right. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe... He thought to himself, maybe Chat makes I a good am point. crazy. In that we could, like, lower the FOV, maybe? Blinking, like, we'll really Stop crank a, it down as a go. 90 if we just lower it, it'll zoom in a bit. Right, Out 50. of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. I see sense. high five yourself and in the bottom there. It's like the second to last paragraph. He began oh, to make other well. strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet? When he looked down, that is a why good did point. doors close good. automatically behind him wherever he went? Also, and very for good that point. matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. 
He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Yay! He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, this, this you can send your puppy imagined back. Himself soaring <laughs> I was trying to read uh, a magical star this, field, but it's too faint, it isn't it? Appeared. Oh! It oh. was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had... Right, one second, narrator. I'm turning the FOV back up. Still not Thanks, broken narrator. up. Thanks, narrator. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest lucid. question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? More spell Now coffee. the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice I hate describing me, thinking about how, how it's describing you know, like, my the, thoughts. If you just thought. sprint forward, like how and far? Molly thought it all very odd and wondered how if much this voice developed? spoke to all people in their dreams. The oh, it goes in the oh. This was not a dream. How could oh. it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Right. Stanley is as awake <laughs> right now as he's ever been in his life. Mm. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After no. all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Hey. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars no, just a moment ago? I think How I think else would the voice explain all that? This voice yeah, was a part so of himself too. too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Oh. The press of the mattress on his back. Mm. The fresh air of a world outside the this springs one. in my bank. Lovely. Oh, Let yeah. me wake up. He Let thought me to wake himself. Up. I'm through with this dream. I I'm wish through. it to be over. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all Please. I want. I, just I want push my the apartment and my just wife like the sugar and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Yes, please. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. I am okay. Oh, man, this is a free therapy session, man. <laughs> Quite like it. So, um, it's like one of those, you know, words oh, of affirmation discs or whatever, is, like, yeah. you know. Stanley began oh. screaming. Please, <laughs> someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have no, an office. I am real. No. Please, just someone tell me I am real. No, I must I'm be real. real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am Please. I? Who am I? Who am I? And everything Stanley. went black. And... This is the story Credits. of a woman named Mary. Oh, no! Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. <laughs> she rose, got dressed, Mariella! gathered her belongings, and walked oh. to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. No, and although she would Stanley. soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Probably got he was obviously out crazy. This, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Call the police, Mariella. They didn't want to pay for the animation on the turning and running, man. Yeah. And now we're back. And now we're Okay, All next right. round. Oh. Cool. Okay. How do we want to play this differently then? So, we previously All of his went down. The workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Right. Stanley yes, decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I mean, we have to pop into the broom closet, right? To we see what uh, that is non-negotiable. <laughs> that is that is absolutely happening. Um, and then, when so Stanley that we'll, came we'll to a set to the of left. two open bars, we'll commit he to the entered left. the door on his left. We've, we've still yet to go right, but I'm, I'm I like. We have, yeah. Okay, we're going through like, here. Worst case scenario, yeah, here there we was go not down a the single left, person right, here either. Yeah. Feeling a wave of disbelief, oh, Stanley decided no! to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might no! find an answer there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> no, the broom closet. That is, Coming that to is a the staircase, damn shame. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. They're on to us, man. They are on they to are. us. What do you reckon they'll like disable the elevator to uh <laughs> to go like up. not go back up, right? Because oh. oh, this is different. Yeah, right. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. And if the boss suffered, the bosses suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Oh, I love that. Pretty mini sneeze there. Um, oh, right. Stepping into his again? manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety Sorry. isn't healthy. Sorry. So he relaxed Sorry. for a few moments with some calming new oh, age music. Oh, here we go. It's... Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. Beautiful. Love it. Feeling soothed like, can, like, and rejuvenated, Stanley together. calmly walked oh. forward oh. into the open passageway. There, there it is. I feel rejuvenated. I do too, man, honestly. So same high energy consumption lights. Yep. Same lift. Same, same lift. like weird dark little nook. Little area to nowhere. Yeah. Which I can't seem to interact with anything. Take All us right, down, let's man. Hit, let's hit the down button. Okay. <laughs> we can't okay, go back up. Here we up. go. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we can, but like... I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can, though. I think we get the same ending if we did it. Maybe. Yeah, right. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door oh. that read oh. Mind Control Facility. I did, did we even get this far down we the didn't, corridor no. last time? Oh, there's an escape hatch. I mean... Do we just want to uh, to get the, the full obey run? Kind of you want the full, of? full obey on? Okay, here we go. This reminds me of the same pathway that we took to go to like the the hundred thousand people. Yeah. Okay, our dream. Can we? Uh, That's why you say that. Yeah. Down here, I think very similar. What's that say? Interviewing and interrogation emergencies. Oh my lord. Let's have a light bulb moment, man. I'm ready. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What wow. horrible secret Ooh, yeah, did this place this. hold? Stanley thought to himself. Reckon those are did he have the strength to I find so. out? If you're to control people's minds, at least one deep blacks, man, honestly. <laughs> you need to. That's the trick <laughs> to control it. people's minds. If they see exactly. the grey, they, they don't like it. Okay, this is a big CCTV oh. button. There's a few computers over here. Well, it looks more like a microwave than a it does, right? computer, right? It's just all a black box. Completely, yeah, completely. Uh, anything here? No, no. Let's do it. Let's right, turn let's on the button. Now the, the monitors jump to oh. life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the oh. building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives They're of gone, so though. many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Bowie, 417. Two, 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 seven, oh, I we, thought? I thought we were like a 400 number. 427? Oh. Is it, are we 427? There's one, oh, there's one that says fired. Um, 427, oh, yeah, uh, is what we're being told. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, there is one that says fired. You turn around, give us the number. 427 is what chat's saying. Right, let's have a look. I mean, I assume I'll just show our cubicle. I might even see our cubicle. Oh, no, that's not us. 427. Oh, yeah, there ahead. we are. Dead on. I'm ready. Yeah, oh, it's just so our dark. empty office. <laughs> it's our empty office. It's because of our stupid little reading light, right? Yeah. It's the only light in the room. 
Yeah. Okay, nothing here. I mean, so far it's not so button. odd. I feel like most uh, companies have CCTV of. I mean, of yeah. If, if you've got a Christmas work, mind control I mean, facility, it was too well. horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had no. Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been no. manipulated to accept it blindly? No. Okay, I think we're getting oh. this bit then, eh? Yeah. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own no, life the in pin, someone then. else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Never. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Surely not. Please, no. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. No, Controls really labelled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Stanley's going to turn it off. Well, this is all offline anyway. Yeah, it's right. It's already off. No, no, on. What's this? Big number five. Oh, press it, man. Oh, do we need like a code? Like, is there an order to pressing the buttons, potentially? Uh, I pressed it five times. That didn't work. Mind control controls idle, awaiting input. And when oh, at last he go. found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this off. horrible place and to everything it stood for. Surely pressing off, though, is not going to do that. Like, they'll just come back. It's already off, isn't it? Do we press right, give it? it? Give it a try. Why? It's off. Credits. Ah, Stanley. Credits? No, there's no Have we done it, Stanley? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. Of course not. He had won. He Maybe. had defeated on, the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How yep. had he been oh, no, freed the from the machine's out. grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized oh, so nice. none of this mattered to him. It's lovely. All it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Ooh, is no this longer the would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be Maybe. his. He and might that was be, all you know. he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. What's the, the chances that this is a fake, Isaac? This is just a cinema like a screen. screen. Stanley oh. felt the cool oh. breeze upon his skin. Oh. The feeling of liberation. We did the it! The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy well oh. done stanley and then he closed his eyes and he woke up and he was back there again oh complete the stanley parable Look at that, we did completed it. the game thank you for watching everybody <laughs> if you enjoyed so i wonder how many people play and get that the first try like i wonder how many people just follow the rules just, and, and then just, finish it in five minutes and just finish right? it in five minutes and then refund it on steam <laughs> Oh, is that was that window at the end of the corridor there always so bright? It I was, think right? so, you know. Yeah, I think it was. All of his co-workers were gone. What oh, could there we go. Well, we were free for a second. Stanley though. decided yeah, to we go were, to the meeting we? room. Perhaps he had simply missed a moment. It's bright, isn't it? So do we want to do the complete opposite? Do we want to fully ignore whatever he says at every yeah. single turn? We go, go left at the... Sorry, right at the door. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. I just assume the broom closet is. Um... Stop. Bot. When did Stanley we, we came to a set closet? of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We didn't go. Uh, the broom closet is after the door on the left. So do we oh. want to just go to the yeah, door we'll on the right? Yeah, we'll go to the right. Yeah, yeah. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. yeah of course we do. You know, we the employee lounge is always busy. Pack teaming Gotta with take employees. Advantage yeah. of the opportunity to uh, <sighs> of it being empty, yes, right? Yes, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been <laughs> worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Such a Stanley nice room. simply I stood here, drinking it all in. Look at this. I bet you're. This is a bit of a step here, isn't it? It's quite the step. No, no there's no like mind your step either. Man. That's a lawsuit waiting to no, happen. No, I know. Right? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit really looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really yeah, worth it. Yeah, there is the outside. Chat is right. This is certainly one of the business. rooms of all time. Stanley took the that first is. open door on his left. It's one of the rooms. Okay, oh, straight so forward. We're not getting back on track. Because uh, off track. it wants us to. It wants us to. Do not lie. Do not lie. <laughs> if you're lying, stop. Oh, no. That's this fair. is the do not lie room. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't like five years ago. Hmm. Okay. Some kind of like crane control room. This reminds me of a map from one of the maps from Portal, actually. Portal 2. Hmm. What does it say on that side? Uh, oh. This says danger, vent access for trains employees only, climb at your own risk. There's another warning behind you, like a big yellow one. Like uh, before the drop. Before the drop. No, right no, no, here? no, no, no. Turn around. There you go. I'm over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion, it will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Can we, can we jump off? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets okay. to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> oh, come on. Good surely job, that's just Stanley. a leg breaker. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Surely that's just a leg breaker, right? You know, that, I mean, that looks pretty oh. rough. You're not going to die. Oh, hello. This is different. Oh, my lord. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's no meeting room. Oh. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Right, before I go through there, let's see if there are any other doors that are open. This one looks like it would open, but no. No. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh. oh. Let's go for the whiteboard ending, man. You know, yeah, we, okay, you know, let's we do it. That, right? We've got the opportunity, right? Dog mode. Can we tick dog mode? We can. <laughs> <laughs> can we untick dog mode? Like, how does that... So it, the, the interaction sound now is a dog? Instead of the ticking. Okay, if you open the door again behind you, is that... Oh, oh it's like growling. Oh, no, that's just the door creaking. <laughs> okay, we've ticked it. We've ticked um, it. Is there nothing else we can do in there? There's nothing else inside of the whiteboard ending. Doesn't look like it, eh? This is a empty-ass room. Maybe the, maybe the dog will have significance. Can I, can I bark any of these rooms open? Oh! No, that's no. just uh, another dodge door. I assume that'll like be the Like, the, uh, the narrator didn't even acknowledge. Maybe, maybe when this Stanley is the one. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What do we do here? Let's do go, go right let's go again? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we fell to our death last time, man. There's more we can This do was not the correct front. way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. We can just it. breeze right through the employee lounge wow. here, man. Yes, this room. What? But eager to get back to business, hey. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, straightforward. Woohoo! Okay. Stanley Maybe was we so just bad take the cargo following directions. It's normally. incredible he wasn't five years ago. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been well, neglecting, I... Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh, so uh, like a partner Stanley. or something. Your okay. chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Doodles! Doodles, no! Doodles, that you! How fast can you work? Can you click? Oh, look, I got an achievement for not being able oh, to yeah. jump. Yeah. We disabled it. Why is it in the controls? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To Don't do reach it. out to her. Don't answer. If you like can truly place your faith in right? another, then pick up the phone. Can I unplug it? As Stanley picked up oh, the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double no, check. No. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not yeah, picking up the now, phone Narrator. is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you, you become sentient? Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> so many cigarette butts. I can't I know, believe I, I was so mistaken. Lot, yeah. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any really, more wrong choices, you might have been it no, entirely. It's as though you yeah. completely ignored even the most basic safety like normally, protocol for real-world yeah. decision-making. Or did you not right? grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real Here world. Here we go. I'm looking Please forward to it. Please this helpful instructional oh. video. Thank you. All right, you ready, everybody? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. It for can. example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish I their thought, then, then provide an excuse why you <laughs> cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness. My is it 4 30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Sack and crack. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, here we go. Making oh. choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more <laughs> than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to I'm wonder to if your choices are actually yeah, meaningful same. and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember. Unlikely. That in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and them. problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, welcome nice. back. Oh, you may that. have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Can we unplug... Oh, it's already unplugged. Can we plug it back in? 
I don't think so. Danger everywhere. We can't pick up the uh, phone either. Oh yeah, okay, we're, we're completely reversing course. Oh. Oh, does he want us to like go all the way back and go through like the, the correct door? Maybe. No, that's closed. We got safety nets now on the on the, the thing. Now that we know <laughs> we, we can't, jump off. Uh, we can't, can't jump have off. you jumping off the platform and dying. Yep. Imagine uh, yeah, the main yeah. character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story that would, would make crazy. no sense at all. That would be we just need to get you home minutes. as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. Back we go. Back we go. Doors are opening up for us. You'll have to see it. Okay. Can we go all the way back to the whiteboard room? I think we might be able to, you know. You reckon that's where the ending is? That would be quite something if that was where the ending was. Ah, oh, back in our favorite Almost there. Room. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct mm. ending. The story ah. will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Hmm. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean... No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry oh, back in the Lord. other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh gosh, that filing cabinet, man. Can't open it. Okay. Okay, we can't okay. do it. We can't do it. No, no, okay, we can't. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Stay in here. Again? No, stay, move back into the middle of the room. Yeah, what if we go through the right door again? Can we be different? What's... No. <laughs> the dog barking. Oh my god, the world is the world is collapsing, Isaac. Okay, fine. Okay, I I I know where we go next, man. Yeah, broom closet. Broom closet, obviously. Oh, um, it's ruined. oh my you, I can't lord! Believe after everything we talked it's about, okay. you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What we did you think was so right special there. about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What go back. Do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. Don't shut it down. I want to go back Don't to the it. other room. I have to. Oh no, this room is done too. Go upstairs. No. Oh. Go upstairs. Oh no, we can't. Oh god. Oh no. Oh hello. Now it's starting to look more like Portal Man. It is, isn't it? Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Yeah. here in this pile of rubbish with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now we look are. where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had yes. to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's sorry, a world no, outside of you. I'm sorry. You're a child. I'm sorry. Oh, my story. I'm sorry. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole we did underground it. facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so it. hard on it. We I did. tried so hard to make... 
must behave exactly as Stanley would. Oh. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, oh. hurry back. Oh! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Yep. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On his right. Ah! Oh. No, keep going, keep going. Walk, walk all the way up to the door. Is there a... Oh, we're back to where we were before. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. No! Why did you do that? Oh. Quickly, hurry back. There it is. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That you think this goes on forever or do you think we can like... Um, always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up more. to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Same again? Yeah. Right. He's gonna say, no! Why did no! you do that? Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Boom, there it is. Is behave exactly as okay, Stanley would. Okay, okay. That okay. means Bro choosing Bro responsibly Bro and Bro always Bro putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley okay. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, the one behind us is, uh, is, closed. is closed. Broom closet. Okay, broom closet, broom closet. Okay, this Yet room is not intact. a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. They locked it. That's it. No. Are we? Fine. We can't go down. Staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, we've we've had our choices. Uh, severely curtailed. Severely curtailed. Oh, there's no sign no for the sign bathroom. Right. I mean, you can't go in, yeah. No, no. no. Wow. The ba the room's a different color. Oh, it is. It used to be red. It's a, the the layout. Stepping inside too, you know, his manager's office, in Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, oh, unravelled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely oh, behind hi. this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Is it what? Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Woof. There's no way it actually has like a microphone connection, right? <clears throat> Can you interact with the speaker? Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a problem? No. I you didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial no. step. Night Shark 115. <laughs> I sound like a dog. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley I'm shows sorry. for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, I'm you know. Sorry. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have we done whatever the hell you wanted over there. You didn't why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. Nightshark 115. When oh Stanley my. came to a set of two oh. open doors, he entered. 
and on the door on his left. Are we, are we being naughty? We have to watch what a good Stanley would do. Stanley? Hello? Are Stanley? You, is everything okay? Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Oh, we did it. To me? We did it. You hear me? The end. Stanley. Right? <laughs> Actual credits. Stanley. Stanley we finished it. Actual Story credits. Needs we finished it. it cannot We've done it, man. Stanley, please. You. Do you understand me? Stanley. Well, make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply please. Japanese take translation, that step Polish forward, translation, please. Brazilian, oh, yeah, Portuguese that. translation. Oh, my Lord. Do something. So many translations. Anything. Stanley. more important than you can ever know. That's it. I need this. Created with Unity. Story Unity needed. game. So... You hear me? Narrated by Kevin you Brighting. You listening to this? Kevin Brighting, you got a good voice, my man. Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Additional art Stanley. from Valve. Right. So it does have some... Uh, well, it does have the Valve vibe, doesn't it? What's the right thing to do? Take as much time as you need. You got like a language option there when you crouch. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think that was Control so, Shift or something like that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's probably like a Windows thing, I'd imagine. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Hello. Oh boy. Right. Okay. Um, well, we finished the game. Uh, do you reckon these are the credits? <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What so could it mean? Paper. Stanley decided to go to the what meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, I wonder if any of these are the memo he missed. <laughs> but, uh, I think we might have found the memo. Okay. When well, Stanley came to a set of two open, open doors, he entered the door so. on his left. Do your choice, it. man. Your choice. Let's go on the left. I okay. want to see the broom closet again. And I want to go... Well, I don't even know if we'll get the, the elevator again, but I want to go through this. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, oh, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's Scam. office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's okay. office. Okay. okay, so we're gonna go all the way, and it's it's the old one again with the fancy bathroom. Yep. Very oh, nice. Oh. What's it say this time? Money, in, money the morning, in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Hey. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> so it's icing in the morning as well, Nick. Like yeah, same. Oh! 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 It's open! And it's the same, it's the panda with the, the gun to the head, again. It's a different elevator this time, though. It is. Fancy elevator. We're going up. Oh, it was very clinical. Up or down? Let's go up. Yeah. This is a much nicer elevator than the other one, honestly. Oh, lovely music! Oh yeah, we're it. We didn't go anywhere. Oh man. Down? We got down. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Fine then. Oh. Fine. Okay, Fine. I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, Two, blah. Eight, Dark four, secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh. oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. <laughs> oh, well, I want to put it in. I want to put it in. Oh, we can't even, Nick. We've been oh, this allowed. Oh, dark, yeah. Wow. All right then, narrator. Fine. Fine. We'll go down the nasty elevator. Still can't push up. Down we go. All right. Hello. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No. No, Although he didn't. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. That's all right. 
Seems like quite Stanley a long haul. The door behind was long. not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly yes. confront his death. Yes. That's what Stanley wants. He's got nothing to live for. Everyone's gone. Woo! That's it? No? There is water at the bottom? Oh. Minecraft style. These are the legs he had earlier. He should have had earlier when we were As on the As the machine uh, whirred into motion and right. Stanley was inched closer equipment. and closer to his oh demise, he oh reflected that Lord. his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. I'm gonna he crouch. doesn't know the real story. I can't move Trapped any other forever in his narrow vision crouch. of what this world is. I don't think it'll help. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to right, his here brief we go. and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Please, no! I'm crouched, no! I'm crouched, I'm crouched! No! No. Farewell, okay. Stanley, no? cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal no. jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley no. was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. No, please. Ah! I think we're alive. I think we're fine. Okay, there is a path. There's nothing on this side. How do you think it'd be, think it feel anymore. to be crushed instantly, man? Oh, man, it would feel uh, crushing, Isaac. You think? Do you think you'd even feel... notice? Or you think, like, I don't was... think you would, no. I think you'd just, you'd just go from conscious to nothing. To, to jelly, just instantly. And to yet jelly. it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive <laughs> as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh my god, I when feel like every Harry path Potter. you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see Maybe that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What's the office? Oh, hello. Office layout. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path is from Stanley's office to the two doors, uh, was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development. Though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, it. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, There's the double the doors. doors. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in good time. Is there anything on this computer before we have a look at the other side? Stanley's oh, it's our secure. computer. Oh, it's like a little museum. What's this over here? The filing cabinets. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. So what does this bit say? The two the doors. Two doors set of two doors, uh, two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley's parable, the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. What's three doors? The desk, the office, got some options. Do you reckon this is like Monsters, Inc.? No, can't open these. Uh, anything behind this? No. No. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Huh. Sounds like a, choosing a ringtone on like a 2006 Samsung <laughs> uh, mobile phone. Right. The office computers. Someone's playing this solitaire. Playing solitaire. Employee oh, database. Turn the credits, man. Oh, yes. Again? Right, let's go this way. The office. Maintenance room. Okay. 431-436, photocopier. Okay, well, there's these stairs here that go forward. What's on the other side? Still can't jump, Isaac, as you'll be... Uh, if you were wondering. I, I was. I'm, I'm always wondering. Every second of every minute. It's the office clock with probably the... No, that, that's that gone back in time. So it has. Now. Boss's office. Oh, okay. So this is the finished boss's office. Scenes from the development. Uh, I see. Yeah, this must have been empty. They made it quite, this has got some stuff in it. Quite regal. They did, didn't they? No. 
Does this go the same way? Like, it doesn't make any sense. But, maybe. Oh, it does. It does. It makes sense. The mind control facility. An early version of the underground portion of this game. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, I can hear the narrator in the background there. Narration outtakes. Kevin Stand Brighting, the voice the of the roof. narrator. Three separate times over two years. Do I look these are clips from early takes that were See not how it's possible. impossible for the player to do anything in this then room. Push the number Perfect four. example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. It's the kind of huh. Ooh. The fact they managed to do that in three takes, in three sessions. It's quite impressive actually, isn't it? Yeah, right. It is. Must have been charging too much. Freedom ending. We got this. Very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Nice. Okay, so I think this links up maybe with... Looks like our, our desk story now, man. Oh, man, I want this set up. What's this say? Countdown it desk? says, countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown. I don't know we've seen the countdown. We've anything. had. Yeah, no, right. You've got to play a rapid fire game of countdown, Nick. The game show. Yeah. And then the you, can, uh, you can leave countdown oh, room. Oh, this is the countdown room. Oh. From countdown room. Oh. That, is that the, like the big mind control facility room? No. It's not, is it? No. I don't it's think so. Like it. Game design markup. This was a level that William, the level designer, sent Davey, the writer, as a kind audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from this markup is still in the game. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of got that, that vibe, hasn't it? Ah, uh, this is the stairs that we could have come up earlier, so that leads back down there. I see. Is there a way out? Stanley's office, there it is behind us. So, from left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. This was first created in November 2011, second in March 2012, and the third in Feb 2023. Sorry, 2013. Uh, uh, beg your pardon. Yeah, okay. They took away yeah. one of his computers, yeah. man. He had two in the initial. They did. The he got a second. worse setup. Okay, so the exit was all the way down here on the other side. Oh, yeah, I see exit. <laughs> the Stanley Parable. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy you? one another. I know. How they it wish to us. control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? This is meta. It is us. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. True. <laughs> you wish but to destroy one another? We do, you yeah. You can still okay. save these two. You oh, can stop the program in. before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Oh. As long as you move Should forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop no. now and it'll be your own Maybe. true I don't choice. Know. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Stanley, no! <laughs> Stanley! <laughs> you reckon we were saved by, like, the, the metal cage we were in? I don't think so, man. I heard a squish, a squelch. A squish, squelch. I heard a... Uh... what you want to hear. Oh, I would be... I'd be, uh... I'd be impressed if everything looked, like, extra, like, compressed in this <laughs> shot now. <laughs> no, I think we got, um... We got officially squelched. I do wonder we how did. you get some of these other endings, man. Like, There'll be all kinds of permutations, right? There like, will be. Uh, I mean, I feel like we've taken a lot of the, the alternative choices, but I imagine there's still, there's still more to take. Yeah, something like the broom, something to do with the broom closet, maybe. Um, going down the stairs, more like going down the stairs is. Stuff like that. Oh, very interesting. Um, Let's have a look. I'm, check, I'm checking how many endings. Apparently there are 19 endings. Standing the office layout like oh, the back Lord, of his hand. A lot of endings. It was only a matter of time before he found the others. Oh, Where no, wait. I mean, were. so it says there are 19 Just endings a matter of in time. the Stanley Parable. With the Ultra Deluxe including an additional 24 endings. So oh are, my lord! There are, there are 42 in total, apparently. Jeez. That is insane. Oh my lord. Oh! Oh! That does say new content. Oh! New content? What does that mean, new content? Oh, oh, I see. You lost Nick for a second. That's why. Yeah, that, that happens. Oh. I love me some new content, man. I know, right? This is where 
this entire time we've just been playing the Stanley Hello, Parable. and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So this is the Ultra Deluxe As bit. you may know, the Stanley Parable was a Quite video probably, game yeah. released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 <laughs> with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. I like home computers. I do. The Stanley well, yeah. Parable Ultra Deluxe computer. features it's exciting new content that oh, broadens that. and expands oh, the world oh, of the Stanley yes, Parable, more delighting game. audiences the world over. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. This is where it's like the exact same, right? If you I go think back so. to his office. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm sure. I'm sure. We love elevators in this game. Um, is it broken? Uh, What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, Oh, oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, All right, finally, go, yeah. at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Yeah, we got no buttons new. in this one. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Here Behind it you, comes. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm ready. Yay! New I, I was thinking jump. All right, let's see. It's the jump. I can do it. <gasps> oh, maybe this is maybe this is part of the think, of the of the upgrade. The I think you can version. only do it inside the circle. If you walk out of the circle, I think you're not going to be able to jump again, Nick. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you, Nick. Whoa, 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 whoa! You got to savor these, man. You got a limited number of jumps remaining. Oh. You got twenty-two oh. jumps. All right, oh. you gotta get, <laughs> you gotta oh. save up each oh. and every jump, because you don't have many left. The, the the press jump, the, the text is so blurry. <laughs> no it is, isn't it? It's not great. <laughs> oh, we keep the one jump, keep the one jump. I've got to see. Oh. Can't jump, can't jump Nick. anymore. Nick. What's, is, what if we run into like a thing it? where we have to jump now? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, <laughs> that's right? It. That's it. Good. That's, that's all you, you need, man. Elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new yes. content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Yo, Hell, I could true. count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Please Stanley don't. Parable Ultra time. Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. Okay, more jumping. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Ooh. What does this say? Thank you for enjoying the new content. Ah, oh, you've got to be Yay! kidding me. You see, Stanley? <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. <laughs> and don't shade. get me started Bit on the shade. level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says... Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them X. personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. A great what time. What do you say, friend? Oh, We're going to be back, back in the office. Oh, it's slightly different. Oh, it's very different. This is interesting. Um... And it's, a little different. Uh, yeah, quite a bit Stanley, different. Stanley, 
Come oh. over here. In the vent. <laughs> I want to show you something. Oh, okay. Right, well, quickly. This door doesn't open, and then this is another way up. What, what does it look, look like up the stairs? Up the that stairs. looks like the two doors. Room? Oh, no, it's just a normal... That's the normal hot hallway. Yeah, it is. So let's go take Did us we go back. in the vent? Yeah, let's take the vent way, man. Are we going to play some Among Us? Yeah, maybe. My lord. Is that a mug save? Garfield. You go back? Go back? There's a mug that it says... It says... Coffee nut. Oh, nice. We are a coffee nut. There's a screwdriver there as well. Can you pick it up? Oh, okay. Oh. That was quite... That was a, a chunky loading screen. It took it a second. Was, wasn't it? Okay. Oh you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Yay. Just our little secret. Oh. Take a look. Wow. Oh my lord, it's like a friggin' church building or something. Look at this. It's the it's the outside. Wait, wait, wait. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive Yay. the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. This is you mean home computers? Yeah, yeah, home computers. Welcome to the memory zone, people. Look at this. Wow. It's a baby cradle there. Okay. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in memory, October of 2013, memory. when the game originally launched? Back then, video Steam. games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. 2013, the year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first kiss, my first car, and the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. All the happy memories, God. Yeah, this is a proper souvenir shop, isn't it? The Look board game? Collector's it edition. It looks like it. That. National Geographic. Audience Award. Got the BAFTA. Games Festival. Oh, look at that Stanley Parable. It's been yeah, it is over. a BAFTA. I wonder if they didn't win it. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Look at all these good, good times. times. More I Hate Mondays and another Coffee Nut Mug. And one that says 1951 or something. The original this, remake. Firefox. Oh. Buy on Steam. Buy on Steam. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. Ah, yes. Stanley Parable on DVD. That was the first dollar they made, man. Wow. <laughs> this is a, a, a running demo of the game. Go outside. Don't play for five years. You reckon there's no, that's an achievement for... That's an achievement on the time. base game, yeah. You, I think it's probably nice. on this one as well. You get an achievement if you... Play the game, don't play it for five years, and then play it again. Nice. Very good. Are we going to get that achievement for this game, Nick? Who knows? 2028? Who knows? Come back. Yeah, we come back. Yeah, look at that. BAFTA. Nominee. Nominee. I don't know if they won, though. Oh, no. 2014. Debut game. So it's debut game, game innovation, and story. story. All in 2014. All nominees, but no awards. No wins. The old tough choices. On this one, it's 10 years? Oh, gosh, okay. Oh, my gosh. So that means the next DLC will come out and in 10 years. Another is where I keep reviews of the oh. Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, We're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any here. form of art. Yeah. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all, all of, of them. them. And now, every game. it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. No. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Nice. Oh. Oh. The door. 
And there's a door. I think this is the up and down again, right? Oh, what? The, the downstairs one looks a bit sketchy, though. Memory zone maintenance. Okay. Can't open it. Can't turn it. Fire. Can't turn it. The elevators were quite exciting, chat. I agree. They were thrilling. They were. Person of the year, that's probably us, Stanley. Yeah, definitely. So is like, like a Unity screenshot or something? Yeah, okay. software there. The two doors again. The menu screen. Oh, wow. I thought that was a French flag then. That's yeah, right. Open. Little globe. Top 10 memories of the Stanley Parable. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever wow. been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? Wow. The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Ah. Also, this is open, but this is also open. The series, the series room. But we can't, it's, it's, it's covered which, by boxes. Which door just opened, though? Do you think it was the one downstairs? This, this, uh, <sighs> These were simpler open. times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go yeah. back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't here recall this part of the memory zone before. What's no, this? What's all the here? bad memories. Oh no. Oh. It's the Steam reviews. Steam, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the no. online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Oh, Surely these reviews no. were glowing as well, weren't they? Of course they were. <laughs> oh, no. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not unfunny. trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose there. I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh no. There's some good ones though, these green boxes. Oh yeah, alright. There's more bad ones there on the floor. Can't go in there. Look, there's a positive one. There's a negative one. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? No, you can tell no, me if I'm preachy. Not. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel... Yeah, and this is going to take like us to, um... Like I let these people us to leave down. a Steam review. Perhaps yeah. the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Here What's we this go. One got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. <laughs> I wish there was a skip button. Or cookie nine. A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's it. I think that's the skip button. And here it is. Go ahead and... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was hey, plenty of time for me to deliver again. a long, rambling monologue for... <laughs> well there, Sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, did But that's the power of the button. 
The Do minute you? I start to go off on a thoughtless yeah. display of self-absorption... There it is. There you go. OK, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through <laughs> is becoming longer I'm and longer. E. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45... Boom. Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. Well, the lights I have up. someone to talk to again. All died. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? Two weeks and all the lights broke? Two weeks. They have bad LEDs, bad, bad quality LEDs. Oh, hello. Oh. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about... <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He's dead. The narrator's dead. Oh. Oh? Fire oh, was lost our alarm clock finally got off. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. No, it was back. meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth. Maybe he was just asleep last time, Isaac. Maybe. Nothing back here. Well, just the ability oh, yeah, to press the button. The button. Yep. This is this is like a metaphor of Stanley's job anyway. The end is never the end. Again. Is never the end. 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 Is. Oh, dead. this this is dead. Yeah. I can like the the building is just slowly deteriorating. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah, quite, yeah. Quite substantial. Quite, quite cold in here. Still oh, no boy. no exit. This is what we wanted, though. We wanted a skip button. The button's pretty well made, to be honest. Oh, hello. Yeah, right. It's still holding up. Hello. Freedom. Civilization. Oh, there's definitely no civilization. Oh. Oh, that's Nick's nice. coming back. It's like uh, the slightest novel or something, man. This is lovely. Very oh, nice. Very green. How long do you reckon it's been? Like, 10 Two, years? 200 years, maybe. Oh, oh yeah. We've, we've oh, come to the night. Died. Don't want that. I want the day again. I think the, the, the sun might have, um, might have, you know, yeah, it's extinguished. Had like a, yeah, it's just gone forever. Somewhat spooky. Yeah, right. Oh. 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 Whoa. Is it broken? No. Yeah. There's no way. Oh, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Why did we work? Can we go check the button? Is the button okay? Let's have a look. So, this was all uh, like water before, wasn't it? I think it's pressable. Yeah, the, the button is unpressable. Oh. The button is dead. There's something in the distance, or is that just clouds? I think it's... Oh. So we go forever, Isaac. Is this what happens? Like, things just become this desert? Is it. This is it. Yeah, this is the... The sea, the, the seas and oceans have dried up. We've kind of made like, it. Um, We've made it. Feels a bit more like satisfactory, man. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, just keep going forever with no map. Oh! The end is never the end is never the end never is the never end the is end. Never the is loading. Loading. There we go. We're back. Oh, oh wow. man. No, um, no, no little, little quip from the from the, the narrator. Mr. When we narrator. Out into no, the sun. no, he's dead, <laughs> Isaac. He's long gone. He is done and dusted. Just like Nick, we are unfortunately done and dusted for this um little play through of the uh, Stanley Parable. Ah, oh, very good. Ultra Deluxe. Maybe we'll come back. Because apparently there yeah. are, I don't, we, we've got like, what, eight endings or something? And there are 42? Yeah, like, yeah right. There's, there's loads. We need to go check the broom closet out again.